Welcome everyone to a Tuesday review, and this time we have a game called Bladed Fury. This game, it's a very Chinese style martial arts type game. If you like uh, the kind of old kung fu movies, old martial arts movies, uh, Chinese style ones as well, then this is definitely for you. Uh, language wise, it is uh, Chinese and it does have subtitles as well, so you can understand what's being said. Uh, overall, this game is kind of a beat em up with some platformer elements, but we get into that as we start the game. So let's go ahead and get into it and talk about if this game is fun, if it's worth your time, if you should play it. Okay, so this is the art style of the game, look at the game. Basically, we are a princess who has killed our father, basically. We've killed our father and we're on the run trying to clear our name. We're also fighting demons as well, which is kind of interesting. So, what we're going to do is basically going to be light attacking, heavy attacking. So you have two different weapons, so two different ways to attack. You also have enemies that will have uh, just unarmored, no kind of armoring to them, and they just take normal damage. You have a dash, which you can upgrade, air dash as well. So eventually you can do like two air dashes in a row, which is very helpful. It'll also help you reach different areas by doing the upgrades. These characters we can talk to as well in this sort of other land. So now we can upgrade, which is kind of cool. You'll have different things you can upgrade from like your main attack, Twister 2, which basically just upgrades our downward spiral attack, precision strike basically. You can block or deflect projectiles, but you can add things onto it. You can do evasion, which double uh, evasion during jump all kinds of upgrades that you can do to improve the game uh, people you can talk to as well like this one right here can i get more story things you can learn about the world about the lore about the mythology so i'm not going to get into a whole lot and ruin much for you but As you talk, as you get to the story, it's kind of really cool to see how you progress. Uh, one thing is you fight bosses. When you fight bosses, you'll actually gain the ability to summon the boss and to do special uh, attacks with those bosses. And they have different purposes, different uses for them, and it's really cool. It's kind of really nice, and it's kind of fun to use them on other bosses. I've been kind of saving them for boss fights and to use them for them. It basically like overall this game like i said it you have a very much a very unique art style to it very nice art style very fluid motions with the with the fighting as well i don't think i've really seen anything quite have the same art style and it really lends itself to this kind of game like i said it's a basic beat-em-up but again there's upgrading there's different Things like precision strikes to deflect, to block, uh, things you can add on to that to do more damage. I mean, double jump, platforming to reach areas, exploration to find things. So there is some of that element. There's a little bit of backtracking and really just trying to search an area to make sure you find everything, that you can access everything. There's health upgrades you want to find. You want to make sure you, you don't miss because you can miss those. It will definitely make the game a lot easier. Music-wise, it definitely sets the atmosphere. It feels like you're in a uh, really artsy martial arts movie. Like, there's a lot to this, and the storytelling is there. It's kind of a really interesting story. You kind of want to figure out, like, does she clear her name? Does she overcome the evil? What is it that happens? And it, it's, it's super cool. It really is. And again, you also want to make sure you are doing the right attacks. Make sure you use your abilities most effectively because you definitely want to take care of that and make the game as easy for you as possible. I mean, you can kind of brute your, your way through the game as well. I mean, you don't have to do everything. 
in here as far as abilities. You can just basically go through and just kind of smack things as much as possible and ignore the precision strikes and such. It is entirely a way to do this game. It just makes the game easier if you kind of learn the mechanics is all. And again, the ability to summon bosses after you beat them to fight other bosses, like that's something that isn't really found a lot in beat em ups. Like, imagine if like Final Fight or Streets of Rage, suddenly you, you're summoning a previous boss that you fought. Usually a boss you fight later on in the game. Usually they'll appear as like a regular enemy. But yeah, in this game, you summon them. Like, that's just unheard of in beat em up type games. So I think that's really cool. And I think having that as a feature where you can actually just summon those bosses. The only game I've ever seen that was The Bard's Tale that came out for like PC and original Xbox. And I think PS2 as well, which I actually have on my PS4. But it's like that game, you could, you could summon bosses after you beat them, like the main bosses you could summon them after defeating them but like not too many games do that i think that's really cool and i think that's something that i think really makes this game stand out even more is the fact that you can do that this game is worth checking out it's something that if you enjoy like a good kind of beat-em-up and you want a beat-em-up that has like a little more to offer than just the standard side-scrolling beat-em-up something that does something a little bit different than a standard side-scrolling beat-em-up, this is definitely a game to look at. Definitely a game worth your time, worth checking out. I uh, will leave a link down below as far as where this is available. I do believe, and hold on. Yeah, this game is pretty much out for all platforms. Definitely one that if you happen to get a hold of it, it is a little pricey, but there's a lot to this game. And I think it is, it's pretty much worth the, the price for how nice this looks. Yeah, if you find this this game on sale, definitely pick it up. It's worth uh, getting on sale. It's worth even at full price if you happen to get it full price. But check this one out if you are into beat em ups. This has a beat em up with a bit more to it, so definitely check it out. It is worth your time. You will have fun with this game. Be prepared. It can get a little difficult towards the end, but what good beat em up doesn't get more challenging towards the end of the game? So yeah, definitely check this one out. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you, all of you, for being subscribed. Appreciate all of you for just watching the video all the way through. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Check this one out, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, stay awesome, and we will see you then.